What's up, everybody? Um, so, again, sorry that I couldn't be there today. Um, today, I'm going again with my mom to the doctor. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this, like, as straight as possible. Mm, I guess it's all right. Um, I'm going again today uh, with my mom to the doctor. Um, so, on Monday, we found out, or Monday? No, Tuesday. Yesterday. Tuesday. Um, we found out that, uh, the surgery is an option, um, so we gotta do the next thing, which is radiation. So today, uh, Thursday, which I guess today is technically still Wednesday, but you're watching this on Thursday, um, which makes me kind of feel like a time traveler, but whatever. Anyway, Thursday, today, the day you guys are watching this video, um, we're going to the radiation doctors, and we're gonna find out what our options are with that. So, you know, cross your fingers. Um, pray for good news, and I'll let you guys know what is up entirely on Friday when I'm there, because I am going to be there Friday. Um, I know, no! Um, but yeah, I'm totally going to be there Friday, so, um, have your notes ready. I'm going to check your notes. Uh, we're going to go over Power DOL on Friday, so everything that we kind of missed, um, because I wasn't there, we're going to go over. So, if you didn't do your notes yesterday, um, make sure you have them done before Friday. All right, cool. Um, anyway, so today, make sure you open up your journals to your table of contents page. Uh, the table of contents page number we're working with today is page number seven. Uh, so you should be on page number, you know, writing down page seven in your table of contents. Today's topic is native Texans, and the date is. Let me check my phone. Um, nine five nineteen. All right, September fifth, twenty nineteen. Make sure you get the date in there, the topic, which is Native Texans Day 2, and the page number, which is 7, okay? Um, then open your journal to your notes page, okay? Get the guided notes for today glued into your journal. Um, if you guys don't have supplies at your tables, go to the library, get some supplies, um, or the classroom library, and get some supplies. Uh, make sure you get those glued in your journals. Uh, write the LO down on your guided notes. Let me move this so you can see it correctly. So get your LO written on your guided notes page and then um, pause the video if you need to. Alright? Okay. So just like yesterday, today we're talking about uh, the native cultures of American Indians in Texas. Alright? So basically we're talking about the Native Americans in Texas or the Native Texans. Alright? Um, the native tribes that were in Texas before Europeans came to Texas, all right? So basically the original peoples of Texas. Um, so we're going to learn about the rest of them today. So we're going to start off with the Kiowas, all right? And what you have to know about the Kiowas is that they lived in the north central plains of Texas. All right, yesterday we talked about a whole bunch of Indian tribes, or I'm sorry, I say Indian I, it's a bad habit of mine. I need to say native Texans. I'm so sorry. Um, the Kiowas were a native Texan tribe that was um, originally from the north central plains. Yesterday we talked a lot about those that were native to the coastal plains. Today we're talking about um, the north central plains and we're talking about mountains and basins. All right. Um, so what's cool about the Kiowas is that again they were nomadic so they didn't have permanent homes, they moved from place to place, but their reason for moving from place to place was to follow the buffalo, all right? The buffalo was their main food source. They used the buffalo for their shelter, for their clothing, for their medicine. They used every part of the buffalo. If you look at this picture that I put on, uh, that I put on the PowerPoint for today, you can see the buffalo hide that they wrapped around their teepee, and each one of these pictures, um, is like a depiction or, um, sort of like a retelling of a story that is historical to them, all right? So these are like their first kind of history books, these um, these teepees. Um, what's also cool about the Kiowas was that they were the first group of native Texans to actually develop a way of keeping track of what day it was, what month it was, all right? They were the first ones to develop an actual calendar, 
of all the native peoples in Texas. So when you think of the Kiowas, you should think calendars, you should think nomadic, you should think chasers of buffalo, and you should think these grand teepees that are made out of buffalo hides that they painted on. By the way, this is not a buffalo. This is Gizmo! Sorry, he was sitting next to me the whole time. I just wanted to show you guys Gizmo. <laughs> All right, the Apaches. Um, the Apaches were like so bad. They were so, so, so cool. They were known as fierce warriors out of all of the Native American tribes in Texas. Um, they originated in the Great Plains of Texas. Um, they were they were chasers of the buffalo. So the buffalo, again, was their main food source. Um, but what's interesting about the Apaches is that they had attacked um rival tribes they actually had a lot of wars with other tribes in texas um which is different because they were kind of part nomadic but also kind of part sedentary because for part of the year they lived in these communities that were set up along streams and rivers um that they called rancherias so yes they were fierce warriors but because they were always having to like get people off of their land and they were always having to fight with people for territory, all right? Um, and again, they're nomadic because, again, they're chasing that buffalo, chasing that food source. Um, let me show you what a rancheria would look like. So this is like a typical depiction of what a rancheria would look like. You have the teepees going on here, but you can see back here, like, the farms, and that they're, they're kind of setting up this whole, like, permanent situation, but also one that can be you know, grouped up real quick and moved on to somewhere else. So it's, the Apaches were so cool. If you get like uh, extra time or something like that, you should definitely look into it. Look into the Apaches. So here's discussion question numero uno, number one for you guys today. Um, what kind of weapons do you think Native Americans or Native Texans used before the inventions of guns? All right. <coughs> What sort of weapons or tools do you think they may have used? Turn to the back of your notes page. In that do now section is where I want for you guys to write today's discussion questions. All right. So answer today's discussion question in at least two, no more than three sentences. Please and thank you. Thank you and please. Remember, I'm checking these things on Friday, guys. So make sure you're doing your discussion questions. All right, cool, the Comanches. Um, the Comanches, again, sorry, I keep moving my face everywhere because I don't want to cover up the pictures. Um, the Comanches are from the Great Plains. Again, they are really reliant on that buffalo as a food source. They used it for shelter, for clothing, for food. They used it for medicine. They used it basically for everything, okay? So the buffalo was really important to the Comanches. Because they have to go after and chase the buffalo in order to hunt it down, the Comanches were nomadic, so this m means that they moved from place to place chasing the buffalo, chasing their food source. They also raided other groups because are you going to be able to catch a buffalo every time? Probably not. So they actually like jacked other groups for their food, for their clothing, um, and they were the first group of native Texans to actually tame the horse. All right, so they're the first ones to actually like break the horse and uh, be the first Native Amer or Native Texans to actually ride on horses and use horses um, as tools too. So the Comanches were known as the Lords of the Plains because they're the first ones to ride a horse. They're the first ones to tame the horses and use horses in a way that allowed them to, um, I guess there's no other way to say it, but allowed them to take advantage of the other Native American uh, or the other Native Texan tribes that were in their area as well. So they were kind of bullies, but I didn't want to say bullies, but you, you don't understand what I mean. The Tiguas. All right, so now we're out of the North Central Plains. We're out of the Great Plains. Now we are in the mountains and basins. All right, so the Tiguas were a Native American tribe that was um, based in the mountains and basins. Do you remember what uh, major city is located in the mountains and basins? If you do, write it. I'll give you extra credit. All right? Cool. 
uh, write it in your DOL section for today, okay? If you remember what city is in the mountains and basins, what major city is in the mountains and basins, write it down for me. Anyway, so the Tiguas were original to the mountains and basins. They hunted, uh, they fished, they farmed vegetables. They were sedentary, so they were actually a group that did not move from place to place. They established permanent homes from them for themselves. And what's cool about the permanent homes that they made was that they were the first ones to actually use these adobe style homes. So if you've ever traveled through Texas or through New Mexico or through certain parts of California, some of the homes are still made out of adobe today. So that's actually pretty cool. The, the Tiguas were the first ones to set this whole thing up and to invent these adobe style homes, um, which is pretty dope. Um, in addition to that, they created uh, pots for cooking and storing food, and they created basically the first ovens to cook food in. Um, and all of that stuff was made out of adobe, the, this uh, clay, this mixture of clay and mud. Um, it was pretty cool. Like, they were really inventive. They came up with all, all sorts of ideas for storing food, for cooking food, for increasing their wealth as a native peoples. It's pretty cool. Discussion question two. If you all were a Native American tribe, which region would you prefer to live in? Would you want to live in the coastal plains, the north central plains, the great plains, or the mountains and basins? Give me an answer in at least two to three sentences and then tell me why, all right? Don't just put, if I was a Native, I would want to live in the coastal plains. Tell me why you would want to live there, okay? Two to three sentences at least. Remember you're putting these in the do now section of uh, today's notes pages. So here's your guided notes, flip it over, discussion question two on the back. All right, cool. If you need to pause the video, pause the video. Oh, and hello to my sub. Please pause the video to make sure that my kids are answering these discussion questions. Thank you. All right, um, Humanos. The Humanos were also a Native American tribe that was um, originally from the mountains and basins. Um, they hunted small game, which means uh, stuff like rabbits, stuff like squirrels, snakes, lizards. Um, they collected vegetables, so they would always, always, always have some sort of uh, food source. They farmed vegetables, um, and you guessed it. If they're over here setting up farms, um, then they're sedentary, right? So they also established permanent homes from themselves. These permanent homes were again made out of adobe. Um, and what's interesting about the Humanos is that they actually lived in villages. Um, so here's like a an example of what their adobe homes might have looked like. But they lived in villages together. They lived in family groups. Um, and a lot of times they planted their, uh, their crops along uh, water sources, so around rivers, around streams. And they were a pretty successful Native American tribe in, in Texas. Um, so it's it's all pretty cool. Like the the Humanos, the Tiguas were really inventive in the way that they utilized their surroundings. Remember, in the mountains and basins there's not that much water. So they used what they had, which was a lot of dirt, right? So they used the desert dirt, put it with what little water they had, made bricks and made these adobe houses and villages. Really cool. Alright, so we have come to the end of our lesson. What I want for you guys to do is create a Venn diagram in your DOL section for today, or in your exit ticket section for today. Remember, exit ticket should go on the back of your journal page um, for today. So create these circles, pick two Native American tribes that we covered today to compare and contrast, alright? Give me two bullet points for this Native American tribe, two points on this side for this Native American tribe, and two ways they are similar. All right, cool. And I guess I'll see you guys on Friday. Make sure you get all your work done and don't even try leaving me a bad report. All right, I want the sub to be happy with you guys. I want good news on Friday. Don't disappoint me, please. And thank you. Thank you. And please. And I look forward to seeing you all again on Friday. Bye.